For the last two months, we've been using the uh, range of USB solar chargers from Beam Outback. And we've been using them in a variety of situations uh, to charge all manner of different devices. And I mean, look, from a, from a durability point of view and uh, you know, the, the, the quality of construction, oh, I can't fault these at all, they've been terrific. And they do exactly what they're designed to do and that is recharge any number of USB um, devices such as phones or, or walkie-talkies or whatever using solar power rather than um, your, your, your USB power ports. We sort of went about our daily routine and sort of tried to think about uh, instances where we could use one of these solar panels to recharge our devices conveniently. And I've got to tell you, I was surprised at just how many times I found I was using uh, these uh, USB chargers. They were solar chargers, they were really good. So what we do now is I grab the uh, 20 watt unit, which has the dual USB outlets, place that on the dashboard and I plug both the UHF radio and the Zolio in at the same time and just leave them there for the, for the rest of the day to recharge. And usually, you know, within, within that um, time frame, they will be completely recharged, which is fantastic because then it's still in the car, the recharge ready to go and you know, I don't have to worry about any of that uh, of, you know, leaving them behind or them not being fully charged up when we need them. So from that perspective, these have been fantastic. And one of the things we use is this USB re battery uh, powered uh, bug zapper. So it uses a UV light to attract the bugs to the electrodes there and it kills the bugs. And we found these to be very effective. But again, it's battery powered. You leave it on all night. By the morning the battery is depleted you've got to remember to, to take it down from wherever it's hanging we usually hang it off the um the awning uh, bring it inside recharge it and then <laughs> remember to then collect it before the evening comes put it back outside and turn it on <laughs> and again my memory is not so great i've forgotten to do that on occasion especially bringing it back in to recharge it and it's flat for the next night and my wife has to spend the, day, the night indoors so what I've done is I've hung this up outside and then I've taken the little six watt panel, attached it to the awning using you know the carabiners that come with it, plugged it in and during the day it's got enough sunlight to recharge this uh, light completely and it'll run for the duration of the evening's you know, activities outside. And then when we go inside um, overnight, the battery will go flat and then in the morning, because it's already connected, it will automatically start to recharge the battery. And it can just be left like that continuously for as long as we're staying in one place. And it doesn't, this doesn't have to be pointed directly at the sun uh, to get uh, you know, enough charge. In fact, I've noticed that just ordinary ambient light is enough to generate enough power to charge this during the day to the point where it will definitely last at least four hours of, of the night time, if not more. I guess finally, the, the other time I found this useful, I'm a bit of a, a, a plane buff. I like going out if there's an airport nearby or whatever, taking photos um, from planes. And I keep this um, uh, DSLR camera, Nikon DSLR camera in the car at all times just for that. But again, the problem is if you leave it in the car for too long without using it, the battery will go flat. So that happened to me recently when we were in Townsville. So I thought, well, I'll grab the, uh, the 10 watt uh, solar panel, plugged it into the phone, put the panel on the roof of the car and waited about 20 minutes. Now, 20 minutes is not enough to recharge this battery fully, but it's certainly enough time to put enough charge into the battery to take some photos for the occasion. And that was, I mean, that was great. It, it saved my bacon, it was great. I, you know, I was able to do what I wanted to do with just enough charge in the battery provided by 20 minutes of charging from the uh, Beam Outback solar panel. Great, just fantastic sort of thing. And I mean, you can't, if I didn't have that, I would have been in a spot of bother. So overall, the experience with the Beam Outback USB chargers has been a good one. 
I've now got to the point where these are an indispensable um, component of our, of our kit. I really use them all the time. Uh, if you ask me which one is my favourite, the ones I've used the most, look, by, by a long margin, the little 6 watt panel, it's a brilliant little solar panel. It just, it just lends itself to so many applications. It's small, it fits just about anywhere in the car or in the van or even in a backpack or whatever. Um, it's you know small enough to be hung just about anywhere. And, and look, it's, it's not going to charge a device quickly, but it will provide a lot of um, backup power or you know, just enough power to sustain a battery sort of thing. Um, or if you leave it there for the day, it will recharge a number of devices um, in that time frame. So this is my favourite one. That said, um, I, I, it, despite its sort of obvious bulk, the 20 watt panel you know, is just terrific for charging both the UHF radio and the Zolio at the same time in the car. You know, you pl pl place that on the dashboard, plug the two devices in, and you know, you can leave them there for half a day and they'll generally really be recharged completely. But I'll tell you, if, if all I had was the, the 11 watt uh, unit, I wouldn't be upset about that at all either, because as I said, I mean, it's, it's, it's not that much bigger than the, the six watt, it's twice the output, so it'll actually work um, a lot more efficiently and, and better if you need um, you know, faster recharge times. So look, at the end of the day, it's up to you, but I've, I honestly have found a use for all of them. Um, and I think for the average caravaner, if you look at your daily routine and the way you're relying on you know, USB recharge devices, the uh, Beam Outback USB solar chargers are a really good investment and I would recommend them to anybody.